Hey everyone, Tammy Trier, Mountain Woman Journals. Thought I'd bring you into the kitchen today. It's been an absolutely crazy week here in the wilderness, and I figured today would be a good day to unwind in the kitchen. Um, also, outside, um, the mountain man surprised me yesterday with something I've been trying to get to, and he made it for me, and that's just fine. Um, and he's actually making me a second one today. He made uh, a solar oven for me yesterday, and he's making a different type of solar oven today, and he's actually downstairs videotaping that so that you can see how he's done that. Um, I'm going to make a batch of cookies here real quick um, and get them out there on a cookie tray and see how hot we get that oven going and see how these cookies bake. I want to see how even things are, so I figured cookies were a good start, and then we're going to do pizza in there for tonight. Um, so... Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm making mozzarella cheese. I've showed you how to make the simple cheese um, just using vinegar and uh, a saucepan and the stove. Today, we're going to make um, a, a cheese that forms, and we're going to make a mozzarella ball of cheese. We're going to make two of those, actually, because I've got so much goat's milk right now. It's awesome. I'm also going to make butter. I've been saving the cream off the tops of my jars. I don't have a cream separator, and um, by doing that, I have a half of a quart jar full of cream. So I'm going to use that to make butter today. So we're going to play around a little bit here in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to show you what you need here. It's real simple. T uh, your ingredients are right over here. Sorry, this camera and I don't always get along. Okay, I've got powdered rennet tablets. I've also got liquid rennet. Um, you need rennet for the recipe. You also need citric acid, which I bought in bulk, and I have that here. And then your goat's milk. Um, I have a saucepan. Bear with me with the movement here. I have a saucepan. I have put the citric acid in there, and I'm going to add a quarter cup of water to the teaspoon and a half of citric acid that I've added in there. I will have the recipe on my website and a link to the page on this video also, so you can go there to print out the recipe. But it was a teaspoon and a half, teaspoon and a half, yes, of citric acid, and I'm going to put a quarter cup of water in here and get that to dissolve, and then I'm going to add the milk and turn it on to medium heat. And I will turn you off right now and bring you back and show you how the milk appears then once we have it heated up, okay? So I'm going to keep you in the process and just take you along for the ride, so hang on. <laughs> Okay hey guys, I just figured I'd jump back on here. I sort of fibbed a little bit. Um, you also need a thermometer. Um, and you use a gallon of milk. Now I'm using goat's milk. You could use cow's milk. Um, this is fresh goat's milk. I just milked the goats this morning and I'm utilizing that milk today. But you want to put this on medium heat till it reaches 90 degrees. And then once it reaches 90 degrees, you take it off the pot, off the stove, away from the heat, turn it off, and you're going to add a cup of water with um, a quarter teaspoon of rennet in it that is already waiting to be added to the pot. If you're using the powder, you want to make sure it's well dissolved. But uh, I'm just going to stir this and monitor it. Um, you are going to see it start curdling, and that's, that's what you want. You want to see the curds. Um, and you also want to um, keep in mind that you can use the whey. Um, for many things. You can make bread with it. You can, I mean, it's really um, nutritious. It's not something you want to throw away. Uh, you can give it to your chickens. I give it normally to my chickens when I make the other cheese because of the vinegar in it. But um, whey is uh, really good for you and it's just the byproduct of the cheese. And the objective when you're making cheese is to get as much of the whey off of the cheese so that your cheese is less moist and less wet so it forms better. We actually experimented the other day using the other method of making cheese and uh, squeezed as much of the whey out of there as we could and then we put it in a little square container and we uh, really pushed it in there to see how well it would mold. And it's still got a lumpy texture, but it did mold, and you can slice it. So the um, best thing I can always suggest is when you're learning to do new things, um, don't be afraid to experiment. We love seasoning and spices, so 
The first batch of this cheese is going to just be like your typical mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add salt. That's something else I neglected to tell you. You do need salt. Um, I use sea salt and everything, um, so you'll season this with salt. But the other um, recipe I'm going to be a little bit more experimental with and see what how that turns out. We just we love spices, garlic and uh, paprika is a good one to put in cheese also. So I'm going to let this do its thing and I will jump back on and show you what it looks like. Okay, I've added the rennet to this and you can see that I've got a good bit of curd in here and this is the way what I'm going to do is leave this alone and add a lid to this and let it sit for five minutes and we'll come back and te check the texture of this but I don't know if you saw that but there was definitely some stringy cheese in here so this is a much different consistency than the previous cheese that I showed you so um, stay tuned and I will bring you back and show you what happens in five minutes Hey guys, I'm back. I was forced to have to move along a little bit here, so I'm going to tell you about the process and show you the final um, cheese. It turned out really awesome. Um, what I did is I, I had it on the stove till it hit 90 degrees, and then I added the rennet and the water, and I stirred that for 30 seconds in an upward and circular motion, and then I stopped the motion in the um, pan with the spoon and let it sit for five minutes and then when I was done with that I strained it in a colander with cheesecloth and we have a lot of whey I will show you that um, and like I said utilize that for your other animals and such but I you have a full bucket of um, whey there and um, the final product of the cheese turned out absolutely awesome I'm going to show you that also there you go. That's got a little bit of garlic on top and a little bit of oregano, and it's ready to go. My guys are going to taste test it in a few minutes. So, um, the ingredients you need is the rennet tablets or the rennet liquid, citric acid, salt, um, you need a gallon of milk, you need a colander with cheesecloth, and you need a little bit of. Um, uh, I did mention the sea salt, and if you want to add additional spices, you can do that as well. Um, I will put a post up on my blog that gives full details and instructions on this because I got called away and I wasn't able to finish the video entirely, but I was at least able to show you the process. It's very simple. It is, it's a little bit more complicated than the other um, recipe because it requires a little bit more work and a little bit more ingredients but it's simple and the outcome is awesome the cheese is fantastic um, it's very the consistency is similar to that of your string cheese so we just made mozzarella cheese here I'm gonna also work on making a cheddar cheese so stay tuned for that I'm gonna be working on my butter right now I've got to move on to make the chocolate chip cookies so we can get those out in the solar oven and also my pizza dough so we can get the doughs um, out in the uh, solar oven also so that I can then uh, make our pizzas. So thank you for watching the video. Really appreciate it and uh, appreciate you following me. And stay tuned for a lot more. We've got a lot going on out here. So look forward to releasing uh, Mountain Man's new product within the next week or so. It's We're down to the nitty gritty. We're waiting for the custom pouches now. So stay tuned. And if you haven't checked out my radio show, you can go to... Um, survivalmomradio.com every Wednesday I have a new radio show on there and I talk about homesteading and frugal and simple living as well as I started a new survival series so half of my show every week will be based on a survival um, uh, informational which will also be backed with a blog post and a YouTube video to uh, guide you and instruct you on this week it was starting fires with modern tools. Um, this coming week it'll be using uh, more traditional tools and then we'll go to the primitive tools. But I'm really trying to educate both uh, men, women, and children on survival skills and just the knowledge in the outdoors. It's really important. Uh, our country's not in a good way and I feel that these traditional and primitive skills are really important uh, for our moving ahead in life. So, And they're not, not bad uh, skills to have. So I'm going to show you what I know and uh, look forward to uh, 
uh, introducing new skills and such to you folks. So stay tuned. Thanks again for following me. Really appreciate it. And you guys have a fantastic day. God bless.